So the wait is over for the Redmi Note 9s, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Pro Max and Poco M2 Pro users Android 12 stable is out. Of course it's not the official stable version, it's not from Xiaomi, it's a custom ROM built from source basically AOSP Android 12 which is available for Redmi Note 5 Pro, Redmi Note 8, Redmi Note 10 Pro and now it's available for Miachol devices also. All the devices, supported devices, links, everything is already in the description. We are talking about the latest Android version 12. The things are quite good in this build by the way and let me show you the smoothness. It's actually quite smooth. Of course in Mio 12 devices if you have tried Android 12 beta versions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 I made videos on all those beta versions by the way. And if you've tried all those betas of course you got might you might got some bit of bugs there. And the smoothness was not up to the mark but in this build everything is great. Let's just talk about some bit of things about this build you can see. I have Pixel Launcher, it's not pre-installed by the way. And how to install this Pixel Launcher? Pixelify Magisk module is what you need to download and install. We're gonna talk about that thing later on. I'm gonna upload that video on my Hindi channel, so make sure to subscribe that channel and check out the video that's already available there, or maybe available in a bit of time. You'll find the link in my Telegram updates channel. Pixel Launcher is what I've installed, and yes, this is from because of the module which also helps you to pass safety net status let's just talk about the other things about in this build you can see pixel launcher has a very cool features at a glance is not working unfortunately suggestions etc are working perfectly fine there are no issues in suggestions related things in this pixel launcher okay let's just talk about some bit of extra things here for example search your phone everything is present you can customize these things in your default launcher and quick settings etc as I previously mentioned you safeness status is passing but how it is passing because we've installed a module if you haven't rooted your device if you don't want to root your device I'm not sure safeness status will be passed for you or not because I have rooted my device I've installed magisk and safeness status does not have any kind of issues you'll be able to use the banking apps on a device yes android 12 stable is here maybe you can use this build as your daily driver also there might be some bit of bugs there but those are not major bugs there are minor bugs could be that is of course expected because this is just initial build you can expect some minor bugs but yes it's not a big deal if you move on to the settings let me show you that i have enabled the magic guide option that's necessary as i previously mentioned if you want to pause pass safety status this is the option you need to take and this is the module which i was talking about extra pixel and the module is by rn it's a very cool interesting model for all the aosp based custom homes only for android 12 it's not for android 11 so make sure you have android 12 running the default camera is the normal snap camera yes i was not expecting google camera by the way but yes it was expected and it is there this is the normal snap camera which you get pre-installed and if you want to try out the google cameras i haven't tried out any google camera yet if you have any working Google camera for this Android 12 build, you can comment below. I'll try to feature that in the next video. But yes, this is the thing which we have tried till now. Also, as we have installed that module and we have installed the Pixel Launcher, Pixelify things. So yes, wallpaper and styles is there. Yes, themed icons, the dark theme etc. is there. You can see the icons are working perfectly fine. By the way, it has the Monet engine enabled. That is actually quite good and this is one of the best things in Android 12 for some of the users. It's there. Yes, you, sh you can try out if you want to. It's just up to you. Everything else I've already shown you I think so. I don't think so. There are any major things left about this build because this is also pure stock AOSP based custom home. So just don't expect any kind of features. Maybe we are getting some cool interesting feature based custom homes very very soon. We're gonna talk about all those things later on. I, I even tried the Arrow OS that was good, but not a single feature there. So yes, Arrow OS or AOSP both have no difference. Yes, you can expect some things. Everything else is the same as you can see, the same things you can see. But let me show you one more thing. If you move to the gesture section, you get the one-handed mode. That was not available in any other port available till now, which I have tried on my any device. But in this one, yes, we have the one-handed mode available. Where you, can, you can use this and you can even customize this if you want to enable this one handed mode or if uh, if you want to use the notification options everything is up to you you can do if you want to it's just up to you everything else i've already shown you in this build if you want to install this build link is in the description so this is all thanks for watching don't forget to like and share this video if you are new here don't forget to subscribe me also hit the notification bell icon to get notified for all of these videos goodbye Over the
edge Feel like I'm floating through the air